hey what's up guys welcome to a new video in this video i'm going to show you guys how to save your images for instagram so that even when you upload the image to instagram and instagram wants to like compress the image you still have like a very very sharp image because i know a lot of people have this issue even i i had this issue for a very very long time yeah so let me just show you guys how to do that but before we get into this video as always please do like this video subscribe to this channel drop a comment on something you like me to do next and okay so let's um get into today's video right okay so the first thing you guys would have to do is you have to crop the image and for instagram yeah you either have to use a one by one crop or a four by five right so this would be a one by one crop for this particular image but i'm going to use a 4x5 because i want more of the image to show up right so let's see 4x5 right so this image is actually already a 4x5 image yeah so if yours isn't this is all you just have to do crop it to a 4x5 and position it the best way you want then you you know once it's cropped yeah the next thing you do now is you come to file you go to export then you come to save for web right so in save for web i usually set my quality to 87 and i change the image size to 1080 by and sorry i change my image width to 1080 and the height will become automatically become 1350 right and i leave my quality on by cubic right and just click enter and as you guys can see the jpeg file for this particular image has been compressed all the way to 334 kilobytes here and i just click save and just let's just save this as um Instagram image yeah and save to my desktop save and that's basically it so once you upload the image now to Instagram since you've already compressed the image from Photoshop Instagram won't like be able to like arm the image anymore because it's already on the size that Instagram would want it to be. So I hope someone was able to learn from this video and please do like, subscribe and drop a comment and I'll see you guys in the next one.